Good morning, good evening, wherever you may be watching from. I'm recording this on April the 7th of 2023. I am going to go ahead and include a graphic content warning. Everything in my videos are for educational purposes only and under the fair use. So I do want to start out with this will include a graphic content warning. So if you have a soft heart or an easy stomach, probably don't want to watch this video. So for those of you that have followed my channel, or if you haven't followed my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and go back a few videos, uh, a lot of videos. And I did a story about a girl here in the United States, actually out of Louisiana, that was left to rot into her couch. Today I'm going to bring you the story of a child that was left to rot in her bed by her monster of a mother. The child suffered from Down syndrome. Was the victim of a divorce. And then was the victim of her mother. So we're going to jump right in here. The story comes to us out of Blackpool. United Kingdom is graphic, so this is why I feel like it's important to include a graphic content warning because these cases I feel need to be heard. It's very important that these cases be heard so people understand that you don't get away with this kind of behavior. So, Elaine Clark was sentenced to almost 10 years, just 10 years, y'all, for starving her daughter, Debbie Leach, who had Down syndrome, to death. The father of a disabled woman starved to death by her own mom will fight for his evil ex to get a longer jail sentence. Debbie Leach had Down syndrome and was imme immediately recognized, wasn't recognizable as a young female when she was found by paramedics in her bedroom. She was 24 years old and weighed a little over 140 pounds in 2016. By the time of her death, three years later, she was just 52 pounds, the weight of a healthy seven-year-old. Debbie had been neglected and abused by her mother, Elaine Clark, at their Blackpool home. Clark yesterday was sentenced, and this is an older article, guys was sentenced nine years and seven months behind bars admitting manslaughter and gross neglect ten days before the planned trial. Debbie's dad, Thomas, fears like likely will be without justice in just six. And he says he pleads with the Attorney General the sentence be extended. She'll be out in six years, able to go on with her life, he told the son. Being the court hearing and all, it was horrific. He felt sick. It goes on to prove how evil Elaine really is. Debbie may have died up to 36 hours before her lazy and selfish mother called for help. Paramedics discovered her body in a room filled with old takeout, used diapers, and live maggots. She was suffering from scabies infection, which had gone untreated and caused her hair to fall out, her face to swell and scab. Thomas, who missed years with his beloved daughter after Debbie was sent to live with her mom by authorities after the couple split, only heard some sickening details yesterday. He said Clark was raking $288 a week in benefits to care for the youngster. Relative told the court the defendant spent the money on shoes and handbags while her daughter starved to death. What was she doing with that money? She wasn't using it for care for Debbie, Thomas said. I just can't understand why no one would do anything to help Debbie. She was dying and no one did anything. A judge heard Debbie was such a state. Medics arrived that her clothes had fused to her skin. Her jumper and trousers were covered in mites and her clothes were sold. It was a horrible death. Postmortem examination revealed she died of starvation and neglect. Heartbreakingly, the woman idolized her mother. At this point, she had a boyfriend and went to college, but Clark began the one woman shut away in a filthy bedroom. 
After family members spoke their concern shortly before Debbie's death, warning the victim looked like something out of a horror movie, Clark called her into a bedroom and roughly cleaned her. Debbie screamed throughout the excruciating wash as the raw skin was scrubbed. Debbie Leach's father was afraid her mother, Elaine Clark, would only get six years for death, but vows he will fight for a longer sentence. Social services had been called in, but Clark failed to keep the appointment. Shockingly, they then dropped their investigation. Since the tragedy, Blackpool Council has confirmed a formal safeguarding of adults' review now take place. Elaine was always good at lying, but like Social just said, all right, case closed, Thomas said, and then he took the moment, looked at his ex. She sat in the dock. And all she was doing was sitting there playing with her thumbs. He said she didn't even cry. No emotion at all. It was the same at the funeral. No emotion. And I had another article here. I wasn't able to find like any kind of news footage of this horrible event but I did feel like it was important to bring this case and understand that this happens everywhere not just here in the United States 